people welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to share with you some really important tips if you use these tips while you're studying for UGC net exam I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to learn faster and you'll be having more fun when you're learning so let's start the first important tip that I would like to give you is that you all must know your personality type before you sit down to study Guys, as you all must be aware that we all are designed very differently. Like even two siblings coming from the same mother have completely different set of ideology, have different style of working. Similarly, every student is designed in a different way. Their brain functions in a different way. We succeed in our life. We succeed in any exam when we do things which are according to our nature, which is according to our personality. For example, there are people who can study best when it is morning. There are people like me who can study best when it is night. So you must be aware that what is your peak hours? Peak hours are a set of period in every day, in every person's life when their mind functions at its best. For example, I have certain friends who study in the morning. They get up at 4 o'clock and then till 8, 9 o'clock, they study the most important and the most difficult topic and they are able to retain it very fastly. Whereas there are people like me, if I want to study a very difficult topic or I want to work upon something which I am not interested in, my brain functions best when it is night. Like I sit down at 10 and then probably till 3 or 4 in the morning I'll be working and that is the time when I am energized, when ideas come to me, when I am in a state of flow. If you guys are aware, I would like to tell you that this flow is very important. There are times in our day when there's this rush of energy coming from our brain and we feel like studying we feel like touching the most difficult and the most uh, you know annoying topics and that is what your peak hours is how to identify your peak hour take a schedule like for next seven days make a point that whenever you are sitting down to study or whenever you are uh, doing any stuff of the day you keep on marking the time when you're doing it after seven days just go back to that diary and see what is that particular time when you are working in the most efficient manner or when ideas come to you or when you don't feel lazy when you feel energized that is the peak hours every person has a peak hour of three to four hours every day so it's it's common to all human beings so don't even think that you know i never get a peak hour we all have a peak hour but the problem is that the successful people use their peak hour in making their career in working upon ideas whereas people who are not so successful use the peak hour watching matches gossiping with friends chatting on social media so all these stuff should be done when you're not in the peak hour zone because those four hour period every day is the golden period of your day that is the period which if invested in the proper pocket will take you to certain heights so it's a request from my side to all the net aspirants that please start identifying your peak hours and then gradually make sure that every day you study the most difficult topics during your peak hour the second important topic that I would like to touch in this video is the forgetting curve. I've already mentioned about this forgetting curve in my previous videos as well. If you have not watched the video, five mistakes students make when they are preparing for UGC Net English, then do go and watch that video on my YouTube channel because that video will help you with certain ideas, will prevent you from making certain mistakes which are commonly made by different students. Also, there is a video in which I've talked about the study routine title of the video is study timetable for UGC net aspirants you must go and watch that video as well because it will help you prepare a proper study timetable for your upcoming UGC net exam so I was talking about forgetting curve now what is important to understand that this forgetting curve is very scientific it is designed by a very prominent psychologist whose name was Herman Ebingor now Herman Ebingor designed this forgetting curve where he said that our brain functions in a particular manner when we read something or when we are studying something after one hour of that study session our brain forgets 25 percent of the information if not revised after one day 
you would see that your brain will forget 40% of the information. After one week, if you don't revise the topic that you've studied before a week, you'll see that 60% of the information has vanished somewhere. And the most annoying part is after one month, if you come back to that topic and you have not revised it during the period of one month, you will see that 80% information is deleted from your brain. The psychologist has to say about, and this is called the forgetting curve, that how our brain forgets the thing. Now, how to use forgetting curve and help or take the help from this curve and then start prepare for the exam. You must be aware of this stuff that whenever you are studying, timely repetitions or revisions are very essential. So, make use of this forgetting curve whenever you study please make sure that after one hour you do make a revision of whatever you have studied in the past one hour for example follow a 50 by 10 rule 50 by 10 rule says that 50 minutes of study then 5 minutes of break and then 5 minutes of revision of what you have studied in the 50 minute period this is called the rule of 50 10 and this will help you to register information faster see guys there's no point putting so much information in our brain bombarding our brain with like dozens of uh, information dozens of writer dozens of work and then not actually remembering any Anything when it comes to the exam day. So a perfect student or a student who are actually enthusiastic about uh, performing perfectly would definitely do timed revision. And that is where forgetting curve comes into the role. So what you need to do is that whenever you're studying anything, make sure that you study that thing and then revise it after one hour. So next day, never start a new topic unless and until you have gone through the notes that you have made previous day and every Saturday or Sunday please make sure that you devote one complete day to revise all the information that you have collected in your memory in the past seven days or past six days and this is how you will channelize your preparation because I have seen students who keep on reading books keep on making notes and uh, doing stuff which seems to be a very, very long and a very, very hard working journey. But when it comes to the exam day, they don't remember anything. And that is where stress comes in. Because after, before two days of your exam, when you open your notebook and you will see that you're not able to recall information, your energy, your entire hard work will go into vain. Your brain will start functioning in such a manner that the entire hormonal system of your brain will stop for a time being or all the hormones will somewhere down the line. So it is important that whenever you're studying and whenever you're preparing for any competitive exam, do make sure that you revise at a certain point of time or you revise after a certain interval. So that will help you to retain maximum information on your exam day and you will feel confident when you're going to sit for that particular exam. Now guys, let's move on to the third important tip. The third important tip is that whenever you're studying, try to associate the information that is there in the book or on the website with information that you already know. See, our brain works best with connections, with links. If you've ever seen a web or you've seen how the body functions, you'll see that everything is connected to every other thing. And that is how the proper working or proper functioning of body happens. Similarly, our brain works best when we actually connect any new information with already known information. For example, uh, just think of a song that you recently heard or uh, think of a song which is very dear to your heart. And when you close your eyes and think about the song, you will try it and recall all the information or all the memories that is associated with that song. For example, if I uh, hear a song which was played on the farewell day in my school, I will recall all the dance performances, I will recall all the memories that I made on the farewell day. So you can see how one particular song or one particular incident can link to so many other information and you can recall everything in a proper manner. For example, this is a term which is very, very common in psychology and it is called schemas. Schemas say that if you go to a restaurant, you can automatically imagine all the things which are there in a restaurant. Okay, or when you sit it down in a restaurant, you can automatically condition yourself to behave in the particular way when you last sat in a restaurant. 
So similarly, when you try and link a completely new information with already known information, your mind will be able to retain things faster and it will be much easier for your mind. And probably that thing would be remembered for a longer duration of time. So what you can do is that always try and relate writers and their works to certain Bollywood movies, to certain characters. For example, when I am studying about Angry Young Man movement, I somewhere connected to the movies of Amitabh Bachchan during that period when he was portrayed as angry young man and I can completely uh, take out the references I can see how the angry young men or the protagonist of the plays of the angry young man theater would be like so my mind doesn't need to actually learn things or you need not go into the rote learning method because you already can link it to the previously known information similarly there's a friend of mine who is very very similar to Daisy from Great Gatsby. So whenever I'm reading Great Gatsby, somewhere I can just recall my friend, I can see the traits and I can totally make a connection with Daisy and I'm able to retain things faster. I'm pretty sure that all of you must have related things, related characters to uh, people you know, uh, in your life or you must have related certain concepts to your life when you were studying during high school or in the secondary school but somewhere down the line when we prepare for competitive exams we forget all the important techniques that we were using during our high school days so it is very important that you recall all these techniques and then make use of them so that your study time becomes a very very interesting journey the last and the final advice that I would like to give all the net aspirants is that please don't neglect the role played by sleep, by meditation and by diet. Now these things will seem very superficial because people will think, okay, diet and meditation say, kaha net clear hoga? It has no link with clearing net. But I'm telling you guys, it helps a lot. I have seen that in my preparation. When I was preparing for net, I made sure that my mother gave me food items which had greater amount of protein content because protein somewhere helps your brain to remember better. And that is why you were always advised during your childhood days to have almonds because almonds have protein content in the maximum capacity also at the same time protein will make your brain efficient will energize your brain so that you don't feel like sleeping when you're studying that is very important see your body should aid your study schedule and only then you can achieve the results because body and mind together will work towards your success if you are using your mind but you're not taking your body along somewhere your health will suffer and Stress ka sabse zada role agar kisi cheez mein uh, aata hai ya sabse zada effect kisi cheez mein aata hai to that is our body. Whenever you are stressed out, you see that the entire hormonal system, the entire emotional system of your body hampers. So it is important that you take enough amount of proteins, milk products, then you know if you are a non-vegetarian you have so many other supplements of protein that you can take then there are times when you can take sprouts you can take pulses you can take uh, nuts so all these things try to incorporate them during your uh, day every two hour three hour take something which has certain protein in it so that for the next two hours your brain is energized meditation will definitely work wonders because when we are studying we are trying to you know accommodate so much information in our brain that our brain actually gets really tired so meditation whenever after one hour you will meditate for at least two minutes or one minute you will see that you can again get all the power of your brain and your brain will be in a mode to perform in the best manner Meditation ke liye, you can download an app which is called Headspace. I have been using that app since like five years and I've seen wonders happening in my life. All the kind of work that I'm producing, the results that I'm doing, all that is very much connected to the meditation routine that I follow. So meditation will help you. After every one hour, make sure that you just meditate for one minute meditation is very easy if you download that app it will guide you i would not be able to guide you in this video about meditation but then definitely headspace will do wonders in your life also make sure that you have enough sleep 
गाइज पीपल थिंक दैट हम एग्जाम में पढ़ते जाएँ एंड वी हार्डली स्लीप फॉर लाइक टू आवर्स थ्री आवर्स बट आई एम टेलिंग यू गाइज इट नेवर वर्क्स वाई इट नेवर वर्क्स लेट मी टेल यू आर माइंड कंसॉलिडेट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू हैव टेकन थ्रू आउट द डे वेन यू स्लीप बिकॉज वाइल यू आर स्लीपिंग द कॉन्शियस माइंड इज नॉट एट वर्क सो नाउ ऑल द एनर्जी दैट इज देयर इन योर बॉडी इज वर्किंग ऑन ऑल द रेसिडुअल थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एनी वियर इन टीयर इन योर बॉडी योर बॉडी इज वर्किंग on that if uh, your body wants to consolidate information it can only consolidate when you sleep because when you are awake your body is functioning you are working so your body has to uh, work for you but when you are asleep your body your mind actually works on consolidating the information when you wake up you will see that you remember things quite easily the things that you have learned in the past day when you wake up next day you th- see that they are more Uh, properly consolidated you are able to recall them better that is because your brain has helped you with that process while you were asleep so these things will definitely aid your ugc net preparation and you will see that somewhere when you follow all these strategies you will be able to learn better uh, revise more efficiently and perform extremely well in the next ugc net exam So before you leave do subscribe to my channel because I post videos on every weekend to help UGC net aspirants also if you have not gone to my website do go and visit arpatakarwa.com you'll find a list of all the important writers that you must study if you are preparing for net exam so just make sure that you have that list on your tips and you prepare accordingly If you like this video do give it a big fan thumbs up share it with other net aspirants and do follow me on the social media platform because I'm running a go net quiz that will help you in your exam preparation so you can follow me on all the social media platform link is given in the description box so till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com